song is so very good and so well done right by Tim and McKenzie and I would just love at some point at least one time to be able to sing like that with those guys and uh, it would be great fun for me but trust me on this it would not be fun for them and it would be just awful for you all but that song goes on to, to talk about waking up waking up in the land of the living and I just want to say this morning I woke up right here in the great state of New Hampshire and uh, I love this time of year for us as a culture where we're cruising into some summer vacations and family time. Uh, my wife Lori and I are up here visiting uh, our eldest daughter, Ashley, who just finished up grad school. It's been a long overdue visit and um, we're just having a blast with her. They both love to hike. So we went on a hike yesterday to this beautiful little wetlands area. And at one point my daughter turned to me and said, Dad, I just had to get up here. I was exhausted after finals week and uh, I took this this hike and right there I took a little break and I actually fell asleep on the ground and it sounds just like something that she would do. But it's that story and actually the song that made me think that uh, in order to actually wake up from something, at some point we have to be resting, uh, whether that be sleep or, or beliefs that you and I allow to be the bedrock of our thinking. And for us as believers, we're not to let um, our humanistic way of thinking and uh, the worldly wisdom or worldly truth influence be that bedrock and basis for our thinking, but rather to be God's truth and His ways. And He's given us Jesus as an example. He's given us His Word. So today I would love for us to focus uh, on that and just remember that we are to have the mind of Christ and He has given us His Word for skillful living, to love Him back, and just to, uh, for human flourishing. And so today, as we go to prayer, uh, let's, let's focus on all that Christ has done for us, but also what he's given us uh, to fuel our actions and to reflect his goodness. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your word that says, you know, your word is truth. 
And Psalm 119 just says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It helps me know where I am and where I'm going and to whom I serve. So, Father, we thank you for grace and mercy in Jesus that saved us and your word that helps us live well and to honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, hey, love you guys and take care, church.